Hello, thanks for watching. No. another one of his videos. <coughs> Today he will be doing <laughs> so might be a bit hard to explain but he'll do it because he is the best. Now let's get on with the video. Was that good? <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Thanks Pete. <laughs> Future Scott just jumping in quickly because the audio didn't work again on this part. Huge shout out to Jason over in Guam. All right, Jason, nice one. More about Jason now. Currently the only rider, flatland rider, over in Guam. Now I've heard of Guam before and had an idea that it's somewhere, but I looked it up on on the maps. And it's, it's a tiny, like, okay. If you go, north to to the philippines and you're in manila then you turn right at manila and travel about the same distance from perth to sydney you will get to guam and it's a tiny 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 little island smack bang in the middle of the pacific well not in the middle it's like just it's amazing so i told him that he has to keep riding because he needs to help inspire the next generation Make sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss another one of his awesome videos. Goodbye. I've lived in Melbourne for a couple of years at this point and just joined the circus. And there used to be a whole pile of riders that would ride at IMAX on the weekend. And I was always intimidated to join them, so, um, so I, I wouldn't. And then after traveling with the circus for a little while, um, it came time to replace my bike and I couldn't find a new bike, I couldn't find a new frame. I couldn't even find a bike shop that could sell any flatland equipment. There was nothing around. Um, I think there was Strictly BMX, that's the BMX shop, but they all just sold park bikes or dirt jumping bikes, street bikes. There was just nothing flatland and for quite a while, I thought I was the only flatlander in Melbourne. Like, I'm sh I was sure that there were others, but I just, I couldn't find them at all. And then I ended up taking my little boy to Ramp Fest one year, and this guy just trundles on over and says, hey, and looks at my bike and susses me out. And his name's Grant Cruz. And I've since learned that he's like a flatlanding elder here in Australia. Everybody who does flatland knows Grant Cruz. Turns out that there's three other riders that live within 10 minutes of where I am, which is amazing. And now we've got the, this massive flatland scene in Melbourne, which is really awesome. So, massive um, water in Melbourne? Shh. Massive water in Melbourne? Shh. Massive water in Melbourne? And so um, there's probably someone else there over in Guam, but if not, you have to do the thing and get people interested. All right. Time to ride. And what I'm going to attempt today is more snake spins. Hopefully get the snake spins happening a little bit more. It's also very exciting because in about two and a half weeks, so Sunday, oh, two weeks from Sunday, I've got two shows at the Children's Festival, about 15 minutes up the road, which is very exciting. And from there, I travel, so I've got to leave there, travel about five hours to a little tiny country town called Hay, where I do my first BMX show on Monday. 
<laughs> oh, so I start my tour. There's, there's two weeks of shows and every show is a new town and sometimes there's two shows a day, traveling all the way up into New South Wales, back down into Victoria, across into South Australia, back into Victoria, and back to Melbourne. And that takes us to the last week of the school term, and then I've got one show on the last Friday, last Thursday, last Thursday of term, about 45 minutes away. So, very exciting, it's all happening again, and I'm hoping that all this training that I've been doing will keep me going and keep the shows happening and get me up on the handlebars, man. That's what it's all about, it's getting on those handlebars. <laughs> the other exciting thing is, since the start of January, when I talked about losing weight, I've lost somewhere between five and five and a half kilos. So that's, that's very exciting. <sighs> That's The other thing I'm doing is riding a little bit carefully as well because my back's still there and I want to be able to do the tour so just got to take it easy. It's so close. Time machine is so close. my back too much, it's not gonna to happen today. Okay, now for the snake spins, 10 times, swapping hands, let's go. I'm getting so excited. Alright, <laughs> gotta go, gotta watch the kid.